Hi folks, this is Dave Higgins and we're going to do another watercolor. I have an image selected, a lot of color in it, and a background that has a few issues. So we're going to use the uh, watercolor technique to try and give it a little bit more interest. So the first thing we have to do is again add that canvas size. So we're just going up in here and type in our two inches, two inches, hit OK. Now we have the area established for the image to bleed out into and we want to break up the edge. So I'm going to go to my mixing brush, make a new layer. You don't have to, but it works better if you do. And I'm going to just take the mixing brush and break up my edges. And it doesn't matter, you can be as conservative or as wild as you want on this. It's just so that we don't have to deal with trying to get rid of that solid line because you don't have a solid line in a watercolor. Okay, and this will give us a little bit more. Now we've done it on a layer, so we can turn it on and off. If we didn't like it, we could throw away and do another one. Now, we're done with this, so I want to merge these, but I don't want to affect my original image. So I'm going to drag this down over the turn on a piece of paper, duplicate my original, and then just go on up and say, merge down. Whoops. Undo. And that's what happens when you have the wrong layer selected. I want to click on the top layer, go on over and say merge down. And now we have our original, and we have the one with the decorative edge. So now we're just going up, go to File, get down to Alien Skin, Alien Skin 4. Have the watercolors open. I'm going to use one of my presets that I've made. I'll show you how to make a preset later. Just click on this, and there's our preset. And I'm going to go on over and just see if I want to tweak it a little bit. try the brush size. I can't really want this to look loose, so I'm going to go for the fairly high brush size. And bring in a little bit more realism, maybe. Okay, then I'm just going to hit apply, which you can't see. It's just down below there. Now we're going to do this quick and easy. We're not going to spend a lot of time fooling with this one. I just want to try and show you the, the quickest method to achieve this result. So now we're just going to take the layer that we had attached the, I mean, done the enhancement on the edge. We're going to move that to the top. Then we're just going to go on up to layers. We're going to go down to layer mask and we're going to click on hide and we can see that's put a mask on here for us and it's obscured that image. So now what we're going to do is we're going to reveal through the mask. Because it's a black mask, we have to paint in white. We have to go back to the original brush setting. And now we want to check this up here. This is at 19. That's about as high as you want to go. The higher the number, the quicker you'll see through it. So I want to make sure the mask is selected. And now I'm just going to take the brush and I'm going to start bringing detail back into the image. Now this is really important. You want to put, you have to determine what your center of interest is. What is the most important thing in the image? And that's where you want the most detail revealed. And areas that have less interest, you want less detail. And you want to push it off until you get out into where there's no detail. Now I want to bring up some of this information in the jar down here just so you can tell what it's in. I think that little corner right there will be the key to that. There we go. Now I'm going to bring up a little bit more detail than I want because we're going to run it through one more time and that's just to harmonize the whole thing together. 
Okay, so we have that done. Again, we have to do a merge. Uh, no, do I want to do a merge down? If I do a merge down, I'm going to delete that. Um, I think I can do it right from here. So I'm going to go back up, go to snap out. Whoops, I guess I can't. I'm going to be on that. That's it. Snap out. Four. Comes back up. I'm going to go to detailed and then I'm going to move it over here so you can see my adjustments and I want to reveal a lot of detail so I'm going to go to photorealism and let's take the brush size down okay it looks pretty good and I'm going to scroll down and take their lighting settings off because we're going to add our own canvas texture and uh, where's color? there's color I want to brighten this up remember we want it to look like a watercolor which means we have to have it be more translucent It's a little too bright, I think. And yeah, play with it, see what you like. I think that's a little too detailed, so I'm going to go back up and take my brush size up a little bit. Yeah, that looks okay. Now I'm going to click Apply. Okay, we have the uh, the new one in. Click them back and forth. Okay, I think I'm just going to blend them in a little bit. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. So now we're done. That was fairly quick and easy. Okay, let's uh, simplify the image and make it so that we can see an easy comparison. I'm going to shut off my master layer and I want to merge all of these together so I'm just going to go on up and say merge visible and now we can do our comparison it's a good idea to eliminate the layers that you do not need before you save because the file can become quite large every time you duplicate these layers but that's it simple straight ahead Hope you found it helpful. If so, give it a like. More to come.